And we'll say this one went up to 20.95, so 7.5 used. Right, so I'm not going to bother putting a third one in there, but you would probably do a third. Realistically, what you're aiming for is to get two results that are concordant. Now, what I mean by concordant is they should be within 0 0.10 cubic centimeters of each other. So we can see just based on the results, what I've made up here, that I have concordant results there. Now the rough can be part of the concordant if say your first one came out exactly the same as that, fine, you can use it. Um, realistically what you want to do is take the average of all of your concordant results. So I would average these two results out and there would be my volume I've actually got from it. And that's what I'm going to be using in the calculations coming up. So, moles of a sodium carbonate used to neutralize the acid. Right, moles. Moles, concentration times volume. So, if we remember the concentration we worked out, 0 0.208 up there. And now what volume of sodium carbonate did we use? Now the common mistake what students make is they look at this here. That is wrong. That's just the total amount of sodium carbonate you've got to do the full practical with. If we read through the method, so I'm just going to highlight it in red. You use 25 cubic centimeters of sodium carbonate each time you did the titration there. So it's the 25 that you are going to be using in this calculation here. Again, 25 is in cubic centimeters. I need to convert it to dm cubed. So 0 0.208 times 25 over 1000. And that gives me 5.2 times 10 to the power of minus 3 moles. Now, the moles of the HCl neutralized by the base. Now, I need to look at my ratio for this. So, as we can see, it's a 1 to 2 ratio. So, for every 1 mole of sodium carbonate, 2 moles of hydrochloric acid are neutralized. So, what I would do... 5.2 times 10 to the power of minus 3. And I would just multiply it by 2. And that gives me 0 0.0104 moles. So just a bit of common sense here, because it's one of these for every two of them, the number of moles for the hydrochloric acid should be bigger than this. Um, if it would say two sodium carbonates to one HCl, then it's saying for every two of them, only one of the HCl are neutralized, so the HCl will be lower in that case. Keep an eye on the ratio, just a bit of common sense. Obviously this should be bigger, because two of these for every one of those. Now the concentration of the HCl, I need to rearrange this equation. So instead of N equals Cv, I need to make concentration the subject. So I would divide both sides by volume. So moles over volume in this case. So I've got my moles, just worked it out up here. So the 0 0.104. And I need to divide by the volume of the HCl I used, which, if you remember right, again, it is not this up here. Common mistake. That's just total bucket you've went and collected to do the full practical with. It stopped you going backwards and forwards to the bench, bumping into other students. It's this bit here. So that's the volume of hydrochloric acid that you were using. Again, in CM cubed, so as usual, converting. Is it? 
So if you do that calculation there, I think I'm getting roughly 502 for my concentration of HCl. So that's the first part of the titration button. 